This is David, WA9ONY. We're going to look at three utilities for the Raspberry Pi 4 that will be involved with benchmarking the performance with SDR devices. First of all, two of them are already installed. It's called LXTASK. Enter. It shows the uh, CPU usage. It is quite high already because I'm doing video capturing and audio capturing of the Raspberry Pi 4 computer. Okay, let's start another terminal window. This one is called HTOP Enter. What I like about this one is that uh, we can see the four cores and how busy they are. And we can do a variety of filters and a whole bunch of other things. There's plenty of YouTube videos that describes HTOP and the details of what these columns mean and that. So those two are already installed on the Raspberry Pi. The other utility is what Raspberry Pi do I have and what is as a configuration? Neo fetch and that needs to be installed. So we'll go to the add remove software. N E O F E T C H enter. And what this will tell us, the Raspberry Pi model and some details of the software configuration of the OS, which is always interesting for records. Okay, as we can see, it's not installed. Uh, if we go ahead and check that, get it ready. Let's see if there's a website for it. So, we've opened up a website. And here's new fetch. So. Yes, so this is um, from GitHub. Okay, so there is a website and there will be a documentation and so forth. Let's see if there's a README. Yeah, there it is. So that describes it. Okay, we're going to close that. We're not going to look at uh, the packages required or dependencies. Remember that's in here also if you want to look at it. Also, the, here's a short description at the bottom. So let's go ahead and start the install process. And of course, it's going to ask me for my password. Okay, hit an enter for that. You know, it's, it's 104 kilobytes. That's kind of small compared to the other packages for software defined radio that we've been installing. Okay, looks like we're wrapping up the install process here. So what I've done so far is installed some of the software on a Raspberry Pi 4, a 3B plus, and a 3B. So I'd like to see how those three Raspberry Pis how they handle and the performance for software defined radio applications. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say OK here and exit. Now, normally I would do a uh, reboot, but I'm going to be brave. I'm going to go to the uh, command line interface and type in N E O F E T C H Neo Fetch. And let's go ahead and hit an enter and see what we got. Oh, that is cool. We got a Raspberry Pi. Let's kind of move this down. So here's our Raspberry Pi. And here we got uh, information. So the OS is Raspberry GNU Linux 10 Buster ARM V7L. Host is Raspberry Pi 4 Model B 
Rev 1.1. Here's the uh, kernel information. The uptime. Uh, it's been up, uh, my computer's been on almost all day, 10 hours. There's a number of packages. DPKG is the Debian package manager. Debian is very strong. In fact, that's what Raspbian is built upon. And the package manager PK, excuse me, DPKG is one of the great things about the Debian uh, Linux release or distro, we should say. Here's information about the bash shell. Resolution, 1920 by 1080. That's typical 1080p or 1080 uh, interleave. Here's a uh, DE. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, and here we have an open box. We have some additional details down here, which will be interesting to look up. And let's see what else we have. Oh, here's the uh, CPU, uh, the ARM CPU model in uh, 1.5 gigahertz. And here's uh, the 4 gig memory and how it's set up. So these three programs I'll be using when I start testing the different Raspberry Pi models. And uh, I will also use the um, HTOP to look at uh, the efficiency or how much taxing the software is putting on the Raspberry Pi. And as we can see right now, we've got 44% um, CPU here. And we have the, a bunch of um, FF, MPEG, uh, EM. This is from the uh, video screen capture. So that's uh, consuming a lot of the resources right now. As we can see, the CPU is 54%. Uh, uh, so, this is David, WA901Y, 73QRT. I invite you to look at the uh, WA901Y playlist, I should say SDR playlist. There's now uh, over 20 YouTube videos in my project here of setting up the Raspberry Pis for SDR activity.